And as she as she was tattooing me for like the first five minutes, I immediately fainted on her friend. Hi, um, my name is Alexis, and I'm from the class of twenty twenty two. When I was a child, I was very quiet. I don't think I have any friends. I was very lonely. Uh, like my dream job was to be a florist. For some reason, I don't think there was any particular reason why I wanted to be a florist. I just wanted to be a florist. Honestly, my probably my parents were like. No, you gotta, can, you, can you like dream a bit bigger? But being that stupid child I was, I was like, no. <laughs> but I think as I, as I was going, I think before I came to Yellow New Year's, I really wanted to be involved in the arts, and that's all I knew. Um, I still believe in it though. Yeah. I love watching ASMR videos. <laughs> it's very bad. I don't, people apparently don't like it, but I even watch ASMR videos to sleep. Like, it's so comforting, especially when they like try to like. Um, destroy makeup and or like when they whisper really softly and they do this weird hand action like to the camera and like it I lose my shit it's so good like it's very very good um I've been trying to get a community of people or at least like, among my friend group like trying to like find people who like ASMR but it's actually very small I don't know why it's so, it's so good yeah I guess for this semester I um decided not to take up any jobs and I was like I really like cut down on my commitments to things um and just I was like you know, for once, I just want to be a fucking student. I just want to, like, you know, study, do my work, and I, like, like, hang out with my friends. I think I didn't really um, do that in the earlier, earlier part of my, like, college education. Um, and I realized that it was actually really good for me. I actually really enjoy being a student, and I think it was taking away a lot of, like, the extra commitments that really helped see that, helped me see that, at least, yeah. When I was 18, I was, like, very, very sad and very broken, and I think, and so I was, like, I'm the kind of person, like, when I, when I go through, like, a very rough, like period of like time, I, I I become very impulsive, and so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go for to this tattoo convention and get tattooed by myself, and like I thinking that was like a very good idea, um. So I went to this tattoo convention by myself, and uh, I I just kind of like knew who the artists were, but I didn't really like do do proper research. Um, but anyway, I found a tattoo artist, and then like I was like, oh, can you tattoo me like tomorrow? And she was like, oh yeah, sure. And so the next day I came back, uh, I was sitting in. It was it wasn't even a proper like tattoo like a tattoo like chair like a professional chair it was like those plastic event chairs, and so she had me sit down and like in this like position like in this position and because it's on my thigh, uh and and as she as she was tattooing me for like the first five minutes I immediately fainted on her friend and like five minutes later I was like whoa what happened and I realized that it wasn't because I was scared or anything I don't think so but it was like because like the blood was rushing to my thigh. Um, and then my tattoo artist was like, haha, it's okay. And she just laid me on the floor with like two sheets and I just like laid with like my ass like half out. And like, so then she just continued tattooing me. I don't regret it though, I think it's like actually my favorite tattoo. I felt like it was like once in my life that like, I felt like I could change something about myself and it was finally like, it was like me who was causing that change, if that makes sense. Um, I would just feel, I just because at that point I felt like everyone in my life were trying to change who I was or like change my circumstances. So that for me was like something I could do for myself. I think probably something that has changed over the past like four years because I'm 22 so four years um, was definitely like the way I handled my emotions yeah I think I was at a point I think if I was 18 I was always very like I was like super sad very emotional but like I think growing up I, I learned how to deal with that sadness a little bit more and I learned how to open up and reach out to people also being able to deal with sadness and knowing that it's perfectly fine to be like sad and it's a part of growing up and it's also, yeah, you just can't be happy all the time. It's just tiring. You don't, wouldn't want that for yourself. Yeah. I hate people who dab. Like, I think it's the most, okay, I, I, it's, like, it's, it's so ridiculous. Like, I, I was so, I'm so glad the phase of like dabbing is over. But like, I have like, friends who constantly spite me because they know how much I hate dabbing and how much I think it's ridiculous. And like, please don't dab. Yes, thank you. <laughs>